Mari Mari Kombucha and welcome back. Hello everyone. Okay, so this is me just jumping in here a bit quickly because when I started editing this I noticed that something really weird happened. It's never happened to me before. Hopefully it will never happen again. But I started recording and for some reason it stopped recording and then it started recording again. So it's a chunk missing where where I'm speaking now there is a chunk missing and I am trying to remember exactly what I was saying um, because I haven't uh, gone through the entire edit so far so I just sort of stopped <laughs> editing and uh, realized that I needed to add something on here uh, but I think from what I could see that was missing um, I think what I was saying was that uh, this song I heard it on the virtual tour and I didn't remember it but when I was editing it I was suddenly struck with the fact that I actually think I've heard it it's just been so many years that yeah it took listening to it a couple of times before I realized that I think I actually have heard this song um, but I didn't go back and listen to the original one because again I'm reacting to the, this as I go along so I'll have to wait for whenever it comes um, to hear the original one but I think I've heard it before either way um, I think you will notice how I feel about it quite soon so uh, yeah sorry for jumping in here but something really weird happened with that piece of recording that just somehow disappeared so um, hopefully it won't be too weird just jumping in in the middle of a sentence uh, but I think that was mostly sort of the information you need to know that has been cut off. So um, yeah, let's see how I reacted now. One and a half weeks ago, I think I recorded this. So um, yeah, let's just get to the reaction. I haven't heard it before, but um, it's just like, I can't even do it justice before I'm listening to it because all the wow factor that I feel is when I'm listening to it. And yeah. It's just, it's so good. And I'm so glad it was in the show so that I could hear it. And I'm so glad that some of you, uh, one of you at least, suggested that I'd listen to this one. Um, and I've never heard it with Annette. Um, so that I can listen to it. Because again, I'm only listening to the Nightwish songs that I've reacted to. Um, and since I decided to wait with uploading the visual concerts, I haven't listened to this one since I edited um, that and that was back in May so I haven't listened to it in a really long time so I'm like yes because it's so good um, yeah I think I'm gonna listen to it two times I don't know if I'm gonna be pausing or speaking over it um, but um, I'll play it again without speaking over it afterwards so that you can um, um, not be annoyed at me for speaking over or pausing all the time <laughs> Okay, uh, big screen, and where is the volume at? Hopefully that's okay. And I need to move the computer a bit. Mm. World tour rehearsals. Mm. Oh, it's okay. just me I mean obviously hopefully you think it's good but is it just me who feels like it's the first time I hearing I hear it every time I hear it even though I haven't heard it for a really long time but I need to all the volume
You hit the keyboard, right? Gorgeous chorus. Mm. <laughs> so good. We're so we're listening to that one. Oh, it's so insanely good. I'm just gonna pause it. Don't start yet. It's just oh, it's so good. And I can't remember. I was just like, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna say something, and then I didn't because I didn't want to pause, but. Um, at what point was it? But yeah, I just, I don't know. It's just, as I keep saying, it feels like I'm listening to it for the first time whenever I hear it, because it somehow manages to give me that surprise feeling every single time of like, what on earth is this? What am I listening to? It just, mm, so good. Um, I love the chorus in the beginning, if you didn't realise it. Um, it's sort of like really, really powerful and energetic and at the same time sort of really ominous. And I like that mix of intriguing something creepy, sort of um, um, luring you in. I don't know how else to describe it because it's like, it's not like, I mean, it's pleasant because it sounds good and it's beautiful, but it's not like a very lovely like we're not talking about the hills are alive and sound of music you know <laughs> it's not like that kind of like oh it's more like ominous yeah i did already say that uh and it's yet and at the same time it's just so at least for me so sort of spellbounding you're just like i want to hear more i want to see more i just want up um it's so good so um, we're gonna re-listen to it and i'm gonna try to be a bit more quiet this time um i'm gonna try <laughs> Um, but it's so good. Uh, so this was the second time with Annette. Um, well, um, well, um, uh, mixed to her voice. Um, she didn't sound like she was struggling at any point, And obviously this is, um, you know, the sound quality has gone through mixing in this one. It isn't a live performance. Um, so... Yeah, but again, like they made it work for her, or she made it work for herself. Um, it sounded good. Um, and some of you were quite clear also that some people just 
give Annette more nasty comments uh, because they are just comparing the three singers and I think I've said it before like if I compare it's not gonna be like because they are so distinctly different I, you can't really compare you can just you can compare in the sense of it's the same song and this quality has this and this quality has that but if they were singing in the exact same way um, then it's easier to say like oh Flo did this better than Annette did this and Taria were better at this than uh, Flo and things like that but they have so distinctive distinctively different voices and performance styles um, that it's very difficult to to sort of pit them against one another you can't do that kind of a comparison you can compare like oh this one sounds like this and this one sounds like that and that one sounds like this but you can't really or I can't really just that I can have like personal favorites but it's not necessarily just to do with uh, voice quality or things like that because I know um, a lot of people said that the uh, Wembley version of Ghost Love Score. Ghost Love Score, right? <laughs> I always get Ghost Love Score. Yeah. Uh, I always. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, many of you said that Wembley's your favourite. Some were like, oh, Buenos Aires is the best one. Um, and I did read at least one comment who was like, I actually like the. Um, Vacan version and others were like but the Vacan version was Flo's first time you know it wasn't like she had the time to really um, put her own spin or flavour to it and um, while that can be true I can also see why you know the different I have only heard two different ways she does it but um, I can still um, appreciate each different ones and um, depending on my mood, uh, the one I want to listen to varies. Like sometimes I really want to listen to the Vakken one and I'm like, this is the best version. And then other times it's like, no, only the Wembley version works for me right now. So for me personally, it depends on the mood, which one suits me more. Um, and it's not just Flo's voice, it's how the instrument sounds, it's how the audience is reacting. Um, but um, yeah, it's... It's interesting, for me at least, that I um, sort of, yeah, it got to do with my mood. So you can have, say, oh, there's a butterfly. Sorry, it's outside. It's not inside, but uh, I, I don't live on the first floor, so I usually don't see butterflies outside my window. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, um, but what was I talking about? Yeah, so I can understand that you can have favourites and that's okay and you can write down which favourites you have and things like that. But um, so far for me, it's down to my mood and what I'm specifically desiring to uh, enjoy at that moment. Because sometimes I want to enjoy a grittier guitar uh, and sometimes I want to enjoy like a clear sound of a bass and things like that. And it can be the same song, but it's just different in different performance performances. Um yeah, so I like this one. Um, from what I remember from the visual show, it's, again, this one, it just feels like I'm hearing it for the first time when I hear it, which is such a cool, for me at least, it's such a cool feeling to have. Like, yeah, because the other songs now I know what I'm expecting when I've heard them before, and this one I should know what I'm expecting, but it just sort of surprises me <laughs> every single time. Um Let's re-listen to it because I've been babbling for a long time. And I'm actually going to even put the volume even louder so that hopefully I won't be talking that much. I'm at 90%. Oh. And obviously not just the voices, it's the strings as well that just create this ominous...
and every single instrument. <laughs> we recognize that. So I'm gonna listen to it again. I should have started recording with this song because I feel energized now. I'm still tired, but I feel full of energy, so I should have started with this one. Um, yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. I really love it. If that hadn't already come across. <laughs> yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this reaction. Um, and I hope I didn't babble along and just nag on on how amazing I think this song is too much um, obviously it's a reaction but like I feel like I've probably been repeating myself a lot so sorry um, yeah it's so good what do we have up there it's a music video no I don't want to react to that okay so keep leaving your uh, suggestions down below for um, Wednesday reactions as well as for Fridays. Um, I wasn't able to record 
the entire or at all not entire it's not like i started recording and stopped no i haven't been able to record the in the concert um the wembley concert obviously um because it rained all weekend so the the sound quality no <laughs> the light quality um wasn't okay enough for me to record um so hopefully this weekend um however it's a new school year and i've been working a whole bunch with lectures and things like that because teachers start one and a half weeks before uh, the pupils arrive and really long days so i won't be able to actually edit it the week that comes i think because the pupils are starting so now it just goes from very heavy weeks with a lot of lectures and planning and things like that to you know like it just it's always you sort of think like oh it's going to be a slow start because everyone is tired after the uh, summer holidays and things like that but it's just like every year it's like such a surprise how fast it just like slaps you in the face and it just like goes from goes from 50 to like a <laughs> thousand because you feel like you've already been working so much before the pupils arrive and then they arrive and you're like how is this like i I had time for planning like i had two days for planning for a week how do i not like yeah <laughs> but so i don't think i will have so i hopefully i will have time to record it this weekend but i don't know if i will be able to have time to edit the week that comes so um because i said two weekends so it should have been uploaded this weekend that follows this wednesday um but that's not gonna happen sorry um i don't think it's gonna happen at least so yeah maybe it will be up this weekend but i'm not gonna promise that it is so instead of three weeks with nightwish it's gonna be four weeks with nightwish reactions before i start the next concert because i want to upload um the full reaction to vakken <laughs> that's already up it's up there if you want to look at it um to Wembley <laughs> the full reaction to Wembley I want to upload that um before I start with should I say which I'm gonna start with maybe I should it's leaning towards end of an era that's what I can say because many of you said that many of you are so sweet that you say your channel you choose uh, many of you said that since a concept that follows the one that I just ended which is Wembley why can't I remember that um you're basically saying it's more or less the same songs um so maybe do um end of an era now so that i have some pause between um um oh, for heaven's sake wembley <laughs> um uh so so it's leaning towards me doing end of an era but i'm not 100 percent convinced yet because some of you are still very much, some of you are still very much nagging on that I should do Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires. And I get that you like Buenos Aires, but I'll get there eventually. And I would probably be wowed and be like, oh, I should have done this way before now. But at the same time, um, I, you know, I've learned the patience game <laughs> with doing these um, Wednesday reactions. So I'll just have to uh, hold on a bit longer. Um, but, um, yeah, mm. yeah, I just have to wait. <laughs> um, yeah, so it leanings towards me starting with End of an Era, actually, once I've uploaded the, oh, for heaven's sake, Wembley, <laughs> the Wembley concert. But, yeah, I don't know how long it is, actually, the entirety, I haven't checked, but, um, I mean, it shouldn't take more than two hours to record at least, which means that if I'm lucky enough, it will take four hours to edit, but it never takes as little as that. However, this is not, I'm not pausing, so maybe it will just be four hours because the only thing I need to do is sync video with sound. Um, so maybe four hours would be enough. So yeah, if I'm lucky enough to record on Saturday and have absolutely nothing to do, I'm busy on Saturday, so I might not. Yeah, either way, I will announce before I upload it. It's not like uh, with Wednesdays when you see when it's uploaded, you see which song it is. I will um, premiere it so it will arrive a few days before and you'll see like, oh, it's going to be this weekend and it's going to be at that time uh, in my time zone. So, 
that's why I put it with Premiere as well, because one, the live chat, but two, you can see your, uh, depending on your time zone, when it will be live. Uh, so if you want to plan to watch it together with some of us, at least, um, you can do that. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I've babbled on for at least six minutes, it feels like, after the last rewatching anyway um yeah okay so comments for at least one more week of some night wish before i start with the next concert uh so and also for fridays that doesn't have to be night wish um and it doesn't have to be rock i don't mind reacting to rock i like rock so it's always nice to hear certain um both bands that i i haven't heard before or songs from bands I've heard, but I haven't heard the songs. Uh, so, you know, uh, suggest for that, suggestions for that as well. Um, yeah, that's it for today. <sighs> Finally, I can end recording. <laughs> I mean, I love recording because I love the connection I get with you, even though this is one-sided, but I try to, it's, it's strange because sort of the energy I try to bring is the joy I feel when I read your comments on previous reactions but I don't know how you're going to react to me doing this so it's always sort of yeah it's strange so I'm sort of behaving in a manner that is a response to your comments from a previous uh, upload whereas you're going to be reacting in the future while I'm sort of yeah either way <laughs> okay so um in in nah, in sake of the algorithm because i think it was some time ago now that i've mentioned it and due to algorithms and things like that i do now and then have to mention it um subscribe if you haven't already um like if you liked it you don't actually have to like it but because actually what i found out is that when it comes to the algorithm if you people who either dislike it for whatever reason you're entitled to you know give it a thumbs down uh but if someone is just disliking it because they want to be nasty the funny thing is that when it comes to the algorithm and how they bump things up depending on how much um traction something gets um it's the same amount for someone hitting the thumbs up as the thumbs down so if you give me a thumbs down you're still helping me with the algorithm actually so it's it was kind of funny when I realized that, that I was like, oh, it doesn't actually bump me down. It still keeps bumping me up because people are still interacting with my uploads. So, and comments again, again, um, pushes sort of the, the interaction levels as well. So, um, don't feel like you have to comment or like, but if you want to, do. Um, because I find it really sweet. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like interacting with you and I try when I can to write back to as many of you as possible and sometimes I can only read and give you likes or little hearts but um, whenever I can I um, I write back to you as well. Okay, it feels like it's at least the third time I'm saying this but I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> okay, so take care of one another, take care of yourselves and I will see you when I see you. Bye!